Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to create dashboard navigation buttons in Tableau that will help user to jump from one dashboard to the other. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. In this Tableau workbook, I have created two dashboards. The first is the dashboard one and the second is the dashboard two. The requirement here is to provide user with the functionality to switch between these two dashboards. On the left side, you will observe that I have created these dashboard navigation buttons that will help user to jump from one dashboard to the other. On both the dashboards, these navigation buttons are there. Currently, dashboard one button is selected and we are on dashboard one. Let me go to the presentation mode. Now click on dashboard two and you will observe that you are navigated to the second dashboard and here dashboard 2 button is selected to tell the user that he is currently on second dashboard if you want to go to dashboard 1 then we can click on this dashboard 1 button and the user will be navigated to the first dashboard these buttons will help the user to navigate between the dashboards and these buttons also make your dashboard look attractive when you have developed more than one dashboard in a single workbook then by default you might have observed that we get these navigation buttons to navigate between the dashboards instead of using these buttons that we get by default we can use these navigation buttons to switch between the dashboards in Tableau public these buttons that we get by default can be hidden by going to settings and we can switch off this toggle which reads show this sheets as tabs let me refresh the browser now you will observe that those buttons that we get by default are hidden and we can navigate from one dashboard to the other using these dashboard navigation buttons if you want to use those buttons that we get by default then you can go to settings and switch on this toggle let me show you another dashboard where I have created these navigation buttons So in this dashboard you will observe that I have created dashboard navigation buttons at the top. Let me turn off these buttons that are coming by default. Refresh the browser and now only the buttons that I have created manually are visible here. So currently I am on dashboard one. So dashboard one button is highlighted let me click on dashboard 2 button now I am navigated to the second dashboard and dashboard 2 button is highlighted I personally like these manually created navigation buttons which will make your dashboard look attractive now without wasting any time let's jump to Tableau and see how to create these navigation buttons in this workbook I have already created two worksheets Worksheet 1 shows us sales done for different subcategories and the second worksheet shows us sales done in different years. Now let's create our first dashboard. Click on new dashboard. The name of this dashboard is dashboard 1. Let me change the size of this dashboard. Click on fixed size. We can give the width as 1000 pixel and the height we can give as 
600 pixel now first drag a vertical container in this dashboard and in this vertical container we will drag the first worksheet which is the bar chart that shows us sales done for different subcategories let's hide the title right click click on hide title we want to give a title to this dashboard so drag another vertical container just above this bar chart let me decrease the width of this container here we will drag the text object in this vertical container and the title we can give here as super store analysis let me increase the size of this title to 18 click on bold click on okay now let's add a divider line between the dashboard title and this bar chart so for that we will drag another vertical container so in between both the dashboard title and the bar chart we are getting this dotted line so drag the vertical container here drag another text object in this container we don't need to add any text here so click on okay we need to give blue background to this text object so go to layout and here under background we can select this dark blue color now let's edit the height of this container let's write down here 10 pixel because we want a really thin divider between both the dashboard title and the bar chart let me decrease the width of this dashboard title now we need to add the dashboard navigation buttons on the left hand side so we will drag another vertical container on the left hand side make sure it comes to the left hand side here let me decrease the width and we will give a dark blue color to this container so we have given dark blue as the background to this container here you will observe that this vertical container and the bar chart are too close to each other to create some space between both these vertical container and the bar chart we can drag another vertical container decrease the width of this container now the dashboard looks good we can add an image at the top so drag image object in this vertical container click on fit image click on center image and i have already downloaded few images let me select this supermarket image now we will drag the navigation button below this image in this same vertical container to which we have given this blue background so look for this navigation button and make sure you are dragging this navigation button in the same container add another navigation button here let me decrease the width of this image we have added two navigation buttons here before editing these navigation buttons we will create our second dashboard so right click on dashboard 1 and click on duplicate 
let's name it dashboard 2 now in this dashboard we will add the second worksheet that is giving us sales done in different years hide the title right click and click on hide title now we can hide all the worksheets right click hide all sheets go to dashboard one right click click on hide all sheets now let's edit these navigation buttons the first navigation button will take us to dashboard one so click on the drop down click on edit button here navigate to under here we will select dashboard one button style can be text or image for this tutorial we will select text we want to give the title as dashboard one click on apply to tell the user that currently we are on dashboard one we can give white color to this button so from the background select white color and select the font color as blue click on apply click on ok now clicking on the second button will take us to dashboard 2 so let's edit the second navigation button now click on the drop down click on edit button select navigate to dashboard 2 title will be dashboard 2 click on apply now for this dashboard 2 navigation button I want to give the same blue color that we have given to this vertical container so select background drop down and click on this blue color click on apply the blue color is a little bit different let me use a brush to pick the color click on ok click on ok again now the color of both the dashboard to navigation button and the vertical container are matching next go to the second dashboard and we will edit both these buttons here as well so the first navigation button will take us to dashboard 1 and currently we are on dashboard 2 so from the navigate to drop down select dashboard 1 the button style will be text title of this button will be dashboard 1 click on apply so when we are on dashboard 2 then second navigation button should be selected and dashboard 1 button should not be selected so here we will give the same background that we have for this vertical container so go to more colors and click on pick screen color and let's pick this blue color click on ok click on ok again now we will edit the second navigation button click on the drop down click on edit button this button will navigate us to dashboard 2 title will be dashboard 2 and currently we are on dashboard 2 that means this button should be selected click on apply so I will give white background to this button and the font color will be blue if you want you can even give the tooltips like click to navigate to dashboard to click on ok now we have created both the navigation buttons go to presentation mode so here you will see that currently we are on the second dashboard and dashboard 2 button is selected and you will observe that we are getting the tooltips click to navigate to dashboard 2 now if I want to go to dashboard 1 I can click on dashboard 1 button and here you will observe that we have navigated to the first dashboard and to tell the user that we are currently on dashboard 1 this dashboard one button is selected to make these dashboard buttons look more attractive what we can do is we can remove the padding from here so 
go to layout and from here uncheck all sides equal and here we can remove the right padding similarly do it for all the buttons uncheck all sides are equal remove the right padding now here you will see that the dashboard navigation buttons are looking good go to second dashboard so what we are doing is we are removing this padding that we are getting this blue color so select this button go to outer padding uncheck all sides equal and remove the padding from the right similarly for dashboard one remove the padding from the right now go to presentation mode so now the dashboard navigation buttons are looking more attractive so clicking on dashboard one button has navigated us to the first dashboard and looking at the button we can easily figure out that currently we are on dashboard one because the dashboard one button is selected in this way we can create these navigation buttons in tableau to jump from one dashboard to the other this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below see you in the next tutorial